relationship what do i know about relationship i want to talk about two type of relationship okay um relationship with self and relationship with another person i'm going to talk about the one person relationship and the two people relationship okay self couples self couple and i'm going to talk from my own point of view my own experience i'm going to be using my experience to analyze what these relationships are and i hope something in my talk and my share is just going to inspire you or uh, whatever just do something to you okay i hope this entertains you okay i hope this is worth your time let's just get into it like this video or dislike it's your choice talking about relationship with self i grew up not having one and i feel like 80 percent of nigerian girls don't have relationship with their self yeah i give it 80 percent because you already know you will hear my experience so you just get to compare and tell me if that percentage is wrong i feel like 80 percent of us don't have relationship with ourselves reasons because nobody told us anything about relationship with, with self and i'm just gonna talk mainly based on the millennial experience okay so if you are a gen z and you're watching this video um, you might have the luck you might already have the luck okay you have had that talk and you know at your teenage age somebody told you about this whole thing and now getting to your 20s you're already a you're already living the life okay you're already head straight you know strong female it's possible for you to be on that level but if you're a millennial like me a millennial like me and you're in nigeria we did not get no talk okay nobody told us nothing if somebody told you anything please let me know in the comment section because i never got the talk i didn't i didn't get the talk from my mom i didn't get the talk from any relative any adult around me i didn't get the talk I, I, yeah i got the talk from my biology teacher but the only talk i got for my biology teacher was a general talk that's the class talk where she teach you about the body parts and all those things okay so i was never taught to appreciate my body i was never taught to love myself i was never taught I, that i had a voice i was never taught that you know i was just everything i was doing i was winging it i was just following make, they were making decisions for me my parents mostly making decisions for me and nobody really took their time to explain to us what it, it means to become a fully grown woman nobody taught us anything about loving your body appreciating your body you know nobody taught me that okay so and i want to assume that if you're a nigerian lady listening to this particular or watching this particular video we are on the same boat so nobody taught me about relationship with self nobody um told me that um as becoming a female this is the powers that i get this is what happens you know this is how not to fall for this comeback men yes <laughs> comebacks and how their words are like once you get to that certain age and or let me just use puberty once you hit puberty when men talk to you you know their words just become so more attractive make them more attractive like they are just whiners nobody told me all those things i just grew up like that winging it and learning from every relationship i enter okay so every relationship i experienced became my teacher even for self and for couple okay so yeah that is how i learned having that i needed to have a relationship with myself and that's how i learned that i needed to have when i have a relationship with myself that we bet a relationship with the other gender or the other party which is going to now move smoothly so for the reason that i did not have the relationship with myself every relationship i entered did not go smoothly okay it was just chaos 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 tox, toxic 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 because blind batimos was leading blind batimos like two blind people the guy does not have a relationship with himself i don't have a relationship with myself so there was no relationship with self and we just came together to become a couple and we're just you know entering potholes 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 <laughs> that was that was like that described like my general experience in relationship okay in nigeria general like all of them all till this point okay but i have been single for 
going to three years and this few times this three years has been like the best teacher ever i've learned to have relationship with myself i've learned right, right now i feel more equipped to actually go into a relationship and it's not going to be cooker anymore i feel like this time i'm ready i'm equipped um I'm, i've gone deep 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 into the relationship i have with myself and that is very important in life okay as a female you need to have a relationship with yourself uh, i was going to use my story and my experience to break it down to you how not having a relationship with yourself begs like a chaotic relationship now not having a relationship with yourself as a female this video is meant meant for females okay so if you're watching this it's probably because you want to tell your sister or you want your girlfriend to hear this okay but if you're a male i don't think you're going to be learning much from this this is like a female point of view but they don't stick around okay you don't you might never know okay so yeah um my my relationships growing up um the first relationship i ever had the first true relationship i ever had was in my 18 when i was 18 when i turned 18 that was the first relationship I, I ever truly had and it was not even a relationship okay how did it happen the guy did not woo me he did not ask me out it just happened okay it was a crush turn 18 and i started calling it a relationship i started assuming and it became a relationship okay so it was my crush and this guy was uh, my friend's elder brother so anytime i go to her house to hang out with her spend time with her i see her elder brother so cute fair my type and he's so intelligent like i have a thing for intelligent guys i have a thing for smart guys he was all those things so he was fair he was intelligent he was smart um and then he wears glasses like oh god <laughs> he wears glasses so like i'm very clean guy so yeah he was just my crush and he turned to 18. i think that was the time the first time i really had something that was exclusive something that was even though nothing was happening like intimacy was the intimacy on the level of intimacy was on a level one and if you don't know what level one is level one is just kissing smooshing those things like i'm just gonna not really spill so much tea because you guys i feel like my mom is watching this video not i feel like i know because most times she tells me she gets the notification so i'm just going to not spill so much tea until i'm comfortable with sharing this thing now i've not shared this with nobody like i've not shared this with i've not had this talk with my mom you should know that's the relationship is not there where you sit down and talk about this whole thing with your if you're in Nigeria, you should know now come on sit down i'm talking about this kind of thing with your mom <laughs> or your dad or anybody your aunt now nah. so this is like the first time i'm spilling this tea so i'm just gonna spill it small small okay so just grab grab the ones that you can grab so that that was um i was on just a on i was on a level one relationship with the guy so it was just kissing smooshing and something that made me not really go on a second level with my like my first relationship was the fact that the growing up, I said I did not have um, any talk with anybody, okay, about my body, about how everything works. But then I got this talk. Now, if you're a Nigerian girl, 80% of us got the same talk. You know, no lie. And the same talk they give us. Now we don't see your period. Now we you don't talk to a woman, we say blood come from your nyash. If man touch you, don't carry belly. That was the talk I got. Okay, that was the only talk. So the talk was now that i am becoming a woman if a guy a nigga touch me touch hey touch belle don't enter so that was the only talk i got okay so that was the talk most of us got uh, my friends neighbors that that was the talk we got okay i think nobody really got any not no no deep talk that was it so don't go close to a guy because once he touches you you're pregnant so that made me really not I, I let me not say scared i wasn't really scared of guys i was scared of my mom <laughs> so that was it that was just it i was scared of my mom. i wasn't scared of guys because i i hung out with guys a lot growing up as a teenager so i was not scared of them so that was not the reason i did not go second level with the guy it was the fear of my mom in my head like when i'm with any guy like that talk that's i think that was the best thing she ever did do because that really saved me from a lot of bullshit but anyways moving on so not until my early teen my early 20s sorry that is when i went second base with this guy because the relationship lasted okay it lasted for three years or more 
so that's when i the third year of the relationship i went second level and that was like the first time yeah okay so now um because i grew up not having a relationship with myself i never appreciated my body i didn't even you guys as at one point in my life not at one point even so recently i had to look at my own private parts i had to take time to look at it i just wash it i just you know like I, I didn't have a connection with my vagina i just knew it was there it was there for pleasure and you know i never like does this connection you should have with your body okay your breasts your vagina your every aspect of you you should be connected to it if you have this relationship with it i never had this relationship okay i never you know it was not there because nobody taught me and i can't blame my parents because they did not get that same teaching nobody taught them that nobody put them through okay they grew up to winging everything so why not teach their children how to wing it so yeah, it's always passed down like that. So it's it is left for us now, this generation, to stop it. Make sure that our own children that we're going to be birthing and bringing into this world, we know, make them, we teach them these things, we equip them so they don't go out and just go into things blindly. They go out and they are sure of what they're doing. They're making choices that they really want to make and not just following society or following peer pressure, okay? So having a relationship with self, we stop all those things. Now, for me, I did not have a relationship with myself, so I was just mostly peer pressured into most of the things I did. And it is not like I did not want to do them. I wanted to experience because I, I was a curious kid. I grew up as a curious, like a curiosity, but my curiosity is on another level. So I was a curious kid. So I grew up wanting to know what most of these things. I wanted to know how it feels. I wanted to know, I wanted to really, I wanted to live. Yeah, I wanted to go through the teenage stage where your hormones take over and everything you're doing is just on hormonal level. Like when the guy is talking to you and telling you how beautiful you are and all those things, you just fall for the things, you know, those sweet, sweet things. I, just, I wanted to go through it, okay? I feel like winging it taught me something. Winging it, I was winging it. I was just going along, going with the flow. That's winging it. So I was going with the flow, but still, most of the things I did, I wanted to do them. Like I did them at the time I wanted to do them, even though most of them was somehow, somehow peer pressure because you know, going with your friends. This one has boyfriends. So I have a boyfriend. What's up? Now you could, now you could slack. You know, it was slack. Now you need boyfriends. So yeah, but still, I made sure it was with the guys I liked. Okay, everything I did was with someone I actually liked. I was attracted to, and I liked on some certain levels. So anyways all my relationship um down to even the last one my last relationship that lasted for five years i did not go into it knowing myself okay so i i went into those relationship blindly mostly because of um, peer pressure or society pressure you know parents pressure just pressure pressure from something okay there were not like choices i would have made if i know what i know now but then again, thinking about it, it is a beautiful thing that I actually went through all those things because those lessons, those experiences have made me um, this sure person. Now, at this point, I am so sure. I am. I know I am ready for any relationship I'm going to be going in because I've gone into a relationship with myself. I know myself so fucking much. I know the things I can tolerate. I know that I have the power to say no and I, have, I know I have the power to say yes. I know that I have the power to receive and reject, you know, I know myself, I know my voice and I'm not going, I don't think peer pressure can work on me anymore because I have gone through those stages, okay, those stages are behind me, okay, girl, this stage here, no peer pressure, no society pressure, no pressure from nothing, the only pressure I will be giving myself is from myself and it has to be something that I need to, actually need to be pressurized, like I really need to pressurize myself for, okay, nothing, nothing else is just nothing outside is going to force the inside okay yeah yeah so that was practically it um my five years relationship i i wasn't really um I, let me just say i was 30 percent myself but then 70 percent was lost because i had no relationship with myself so i was in a blind relationship and that made me hurt the other person okay not having a relationship with myself made me hurt the other person, the other party, okay? Because I self, I wasn't even sure of what I was doing or what I wanted or what was happening. I was just there because I don't know why, but I was just there. Still in that moment where I 
hardly look at my my vava okay my vagina i had a look at it i hardly take time to admire now i hardly do those things like i just knew they were there for pleasure and they were there for men's pleasure so yeah felt like more of a property than myself but thank god for today because that's not the case anymore so how do you get or how do you form a relationship with yourself this is how i did it or this is how i am still doing it because i'm still in the process i just started really talking to myself like my body appreciating my body you know giving gratitude to the universe for everything that i am being blessed with that specifically uh, mentally emotionally like my my personality everything about me i started appreciating it and then i started realizing that um i personally i am enough i am beautiful i have the power to give myself happiness i have the power to make myself happy i have the power to you know do some not some things almost everything myself and having a partner is a plus or let me say it's a it's just yes it's a plus and not the real deal okay me myself i am the, the deal the main deal okay so having a partner is just an addition to what is already beautiful and amazing so yeah it's just an added blessing and that is how you can form a relationship with yourself just go back appreciate yourself realize that you deserve better you know having a relationship with yourself is just going to make you realize you deserve better okay you're not you're not going to settle when you have a relationship with yourself now it will make you know your self-worth you to make you know that these are the things that you can tolerate and if you tolerate more than that you might you know break or you might go into a dark place which will stop you from you know tolerating more than you can tolerate all you have to do is know your limits know how the how how far you can go and know that um nobody can force you nobody can make you do what you don't want to do all is choice all all are decisions okay you choose to be with someone or you choose not to be with someone you choose to be alone for this period of time or you choose or it is your choice just knowing that you have the time to just be you you have the time to do you you, ha you have the time to you know make you grow you have the time to you know fix any aspect of your life that you deem that okay that you see you think that is not fit or any part of your life that you feel like you're insecure about just take your time girl repair that part bring back your confidence you know build your confidence if you don't have one before build it just take care of you first okay take care of you and be sure that you yourself is being taken care of first before you start you know casting your nets to get a couple okay to become a couple so don't hurry don't rush into having a relationship with someone when you don't have a relationship with yourself okay just do have a relationship with yourself first do do, do that is it is like you doing a favor for yourself because if you have a relationship with yourself if you know yourself you know the things that you are your what and all those things it will make you go into a relationship and you not you'll not be insecure you'll not be angry at nothing you'll not be envious at nobody you you'll not be jealous you know you will trust your partner all this is all the things i just mentioned is just going to be possible if you have a relationship with yourself okay and this is going to make you attract someone that is on that level okay if you don't have one you're just going to be on the level where you attract someone that don't have a relationship with yourself and you can imagine having this whole issue where you don't know your voice you don't know yourself and you're not dating a guy that does not even know himself or what he wants it's just going to be a bumpy ride it's just going to be chaotic like it's just going to be tough to see on a 110 level like it's just going to be vast both you guys are just going to be hurting yourself and i don't i don't think you want to spend the rest of your life you know going into mess to another mess to another mess the mess is just going to be messy and it's just going to be messy messy that you get lost and you just get confused and you just get depressed and that's that's it for you okay you wouldn't want that so help yourself today by getting a relationship with yourself now if you want me to make a proper video where i talk about the step by step which i have been following to know how a relationship with myself i can make that video i can do that for you girl yes why not i can do that for you because i want you to you know be yourself i want you to have that relationship i want you to know yourself because the world is just going to be a better place if we all know ourselves and you know know what we stand for okay the world is going to be a better place and i want the world to be a better place i can do that for you i can create a video for you too let me know in the comment section okay it is up to you but yeah 
I didn't want to spill any tea. That is why I turned this into motivation, inspiration. I didn't want to just give you guys some tea. So as time goes on, you guys get to know me better and we get into like a deep relationship together, me and you. I am going to spill more teas. I'm going to talk deeply about relationship and how not to go into a relationship where you are being manipulated. This, you're just going to avoid that one if you go into a relationship with yourself. You will know yourself so much that nobody can manipulate you, okay? But I can make a video also but with time to come where i talk about all those things you know going to a relationship that you you go in with your words with your self words you know with your own being your own person you know already having your own passion and the things that you want to achieve your goals and all those things and then meeting someone that will not change those goals but then bring their goals and the two of you just work on your goals together as couples that is how you go into a relationship okay once you know yourself you have these things planned out for yourself you don't necessarily have to be like a plan but you already know these things that these are the things that you want in life the next person that is coming your partner that is coming has his own and you guys are sure what you guys have to do is just merge it together you know let me help you and you help me and let's just you know do this together as we go along the road that is how you go into a relationship and you guys become a couple couple of supporters you know couple of you know just couples that are ready to make each other's dream come true okay so 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 this is what i have for you guys today on relationship um i hope you guys are able to understand one thing or something is able to inspire you please let me know in the comment section like this video and i'm sorry that i did not spill more teas i am just so right now i am so um i am how would i say it was the word for it the best word to use is I know my mom is gonna watch this okay so um uh, i don't want to make it awkward for anybody okay i don't want it to be awkward in the next um family get together when you know christmas is coming i'm going home i don't want to be eating and my mom is looking at me like okay this girl so this is what you did i don't want the awkwardness so yeah but with time though with time more teas will be speed on this channel so thank you for watching thank you for giving me your audience now i appreciate this fact that you are giving me your audience and please girl let me come closer so you feel you feel this connection right here so girl whatever it is that you are going through right now whatever it is that is happening in your life just know something okay i love you so much care about you and i am sending my love and light your way the one the universe has given to me i'm sending it i'm sending it your way please open up your heart and receive it like this okay receive the love and light and i'll be seeing you guys on my next sit down share whatever you want to call it okay i'll see you guys like this video subscribe if you're new you have the floor to dislike the video okay if you don't resonate with it you don't dis you don't agree like or dislike okay what am i saying if you don't resonate with this video you don't agree with this video please just go ahead and Tom sits down but then if you agree with everything i've said and you want to see more like the video and subscribe okay and put on your notification bell i heard that um if you have that notification bell on whenever i post a new video you just see it fast okay and i, I think you want that if you're subscribing so subscribe and put on that bell and i'll be seeing you guys on my next video bye